According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the use of bleach is not recommended as a routine practice during wall cleanup activities. To control mold, you must eliminate its source of moisture and remove any contaminated materials. This does not mean chlorine bleach is not effective at all. For example, you can use chlorine bleach on non-porous surfaces like glass, marble, and ceramic dishes. But using chlorine bleach on porous surfaces like upholstered furniture, drywall, and wood will not completely remove the mold, and here's why. Let's explore the components of chlorine bleach. Chlorine bleach is made up of 5-7% to sodium hypochlorite. This chemical is the active ingredient and serves as a disinfectant and bleaching agent. The other 93-95% to is made up of water. Over time, this mixture degrades and the bleach loses its strength. And because chlorine bleach is mostly made up of water, you may be providing the mold with another source of moisture and worsening the condition. Second. Chlorine bleach can only eliminate some molds that grow on the surface of materials. This is because the active ingredient in bleach is unable to penetrate the surface and eliminate the mold at its root. The water solution of bleach can pass freely from the surface and penetrate deep into the same material. This provides a source of moisture for mold roots that are embedded deep into porous materials like drywall, wood, and ceiling tile. When this occurs, the roots get moister and they begin to germinate on the same surface. This can make the condition worse. Third, chlorine bleach is a biocide, meaning it destroys living organisms. It can become harmful to humans and animals. It produces fumes that pollute the air we breathe. Chlorine bleach also can form byproducts called dioxins, which are known to cause cancer in humans. Remember, the key to stopping mold growth is to determine the source of moisture and make the necessary repairs. If you fail to do this, the mold will continue to resurface until the underlying condition is addressed. The best treatment for mold growth is dependent on the amount of mold, the cause, and the surface where it has germinated. Generally, the EPA recommends that any growth area that is over 10 square feet should be assessed by a qualified remediation professional. Before attempting any mold remediation, consult a professional for the health and safety of your family.